Sagittarius, welcome into your reading. This is a reading where we're going to be looking at what you need to hear right now with regards to anything that is going on in your life. There's going to be some kind of message that you receive from your spirit guides right now. So let us get into it and call in those spirit guides to guide us in this reading. Spirit guides for Sagittarius, please come into my spirit room. Guide me in this reading and show me clearly what it is I need to see. Speak to me clearly what it is I need to hear. For the highest good for everybody who is watching. Sagittarius, how are you doing today? I have a favor to ask you before I begin. For all of you guys who have been here before in my readings and you are been supporting me for a very long time. I see you guys in the comments. Thank you so much for being here. I have a favor, a very big favor before I begin. Um, as you know, if you actually, actually go and have a look at my channel and you look at the videos that I'm publishing, it is only the All Signs videos and the Sagittarius videos are getting any views whatsoever. I do not have a following of other zodiac signs, a very big following. And I would like to have those videos also do well because it's not very good for my channel. Okay. So apparently I've got a, um, I've had somebody advise me and tell me that it's not going to be good for my channel's growth in the long term if I don't have all zodiac signs actually doing equally or at least improve me, improving. So I'm going to ask you guys a favor. This is a call to action from you, from me. Um, can you please, when you see one of the other zodiac signs pop up, in your feed even if you are not Aries or Virgo or <laughs> Libra or whatever can you just at least go and watch it for me even if it means you only have like a few minutes and you can watch at least five minutes into the video it is going to help to activate that video because what is happening is when I publish say Aries and I don't have a following of Aries in the first hour that that video gets published if it doesn't get proper views the algorithm of YouTube just puts it in the back cupboard and shuts the door and and it will not grow, it will not at all grow. And I'm stuck in this situation where because it sees Sagittarius getting such high views and then it sees Gemini getting such low views, um, it just keeps putting those videos away. It's also um, really pre uh, preventing me from actually growing bigger. So if you can please do that for me, even if you see I publish an Aries video or a Gemini video or a Virgo video and you are not with those things, even if you just let it run in the background, um, even if you know somebody as well who is another zodiac sign, please share those videos with them, okay? If you do not mind doing so, so that I can get the channel, the channel with all the zodiac signs to be more balanced. It is a process that I'm going through and I have to sort it out. Otherwise for me, very sadly, I don't want to end up having to stop doing the other zodiac sign readings. But in the long run, if it doesn't grow, um, if the other views don't start picking up and I'm getting like maybe 150 views on a video that I published, um, it's not okay for me for my channel at all. That means I will end up having to only do Sagittarius and I don't want to do that because that 150 people that are watching the channel, who is another zodiac sign, they're important. They're important. So if you can do that, not just for me, but for those other 150 people who are watching, or 200 people who are watching um, on the other on the other zodiac signs, it would be amazing. And if you are going to do that for me, as soon as you see my video pop up, it's not your zodiac sign, please just click on and watch it. If you can, the whole thing, or share it to somebody else, or even just five minutes. Okay, that would be so amazing. Thank you if you're going to do that. I really do appreciate appreciate it. Okay, what you need to hear right now, Sagittarius, for you guys who are patiently listening to me, thank you so much. Let's see, a card has fallen out. What do you need to hear right now? Change your focus. Okay, change your focus in the tarot. Okay, this is also a tarot deck, but they don't use like um, the caps and everything. This is actually caps and it is five of caps. Interesting for this to come up here for you because this would mean the pain of the past. The five of the caps usually, five of caps usually means crying over spilled milk, the things that have happened to you in your life, memories that you have that are not good um, because of events that have taken place, broken heart that you may be nursing, trying to heal from, maybe finding things very hard to let go of. And in this deck, I absolutely love the way that they name this card because it is called change your 
focus, meaning do not look always to the pain of the past. And I think you guys are already getting this. I feel like you, you know, Sagittarius, especially if you've been here a lot, a lot in my readings, you're already getting this, this concept of we really need to let go of the things that are not working for us. If you get like an eight of caps uh, card in your, one of your readings, the eight of caps means to walk away from things that are no longer working you, working you, working for you. But it doesn't just mean that. It even means internally, not just externally in your world. But what doesn't work for you, what thought processes are, are not working for you, what memories are not working for you, they're only holding you back and preventing you from getting to happiness. And I feel like you're already getting this Sagittarius. I feel like you're getting it already. You guys are getting it already. You're there. And Spirit Guide is letting you know um, what you need to know right now. They're going, yes, you're getting it right. Once I understood this and I got that it was really holding me back in life, I never went and thought about like um, uh, my past and what had happened. The only things I remember is the good things that I want to see. And that is basically where I, I remained. And when I do this, I, I, you know, even if it doesn't really, um, you know, may, you may feel like it won't change anything in your, in your life. The one thing it will change is how you feel. Because you won't feel sad and depressed and all these things. You'll learn to be more in the moment and look at your moment and be like, how, how can I make this moment a better one? Instead of being stuck in the past where there is pain. Okay, so let's see what else will come up here for you. First, light. This is interesting. We've got change your focus and first light. Okay. So it says here, a, a beginning, a new cycle. That's another major thing as well. With the changing of the focus energy, you have to change your focus if you want to move into a new cycle. You have to. There is no other way. You cannot move into a new cycle because sometimes we do change cycles. We are moving into new cycles. And then sometimes it will feel like, you know, um, a cycle is supposed to last about nine, sometimes to 11 years. And it depends on how your placement and how your numerology would fall. But with regards to um, we do enter a new cycle and we feel like nothing has changed. Maybe things have gotten even worse. It is because you entered the new cycle carrying the past with you into it. It's like you're carrying a bag of seeds and those seeds are memories. It is um, what has happened to you. And you're taking the ones that are not healthy with you into the new cycle and you're planting those seeds there and it just grows the same situations. You know what I mean? So you really got to go into a little seed back, a little seed bag of memories and your emotions and take up those ones that are not going to grow healthily or the way you want it to and then change your focus. I think you're already doing this, Sagittarius. I feel like you are already changing your focus and this is what is bringing in the new light for you. Okay, so let's get into this. And by the way, remember, um, if you guys want to join channel memberships, we do have channel memberships open. If you want to join that as well, if you want to know how to go to channel memberships, please just go to my actual channel page and you'll see the join button there. I go live about once, about definitely twice a month and sometimes randomly in the middle of nowhere. Um, and we do live readings there as well for you guys. So let's get into this and find out what card comes up here for you. Conclusions are within reach, which is full moon eclipse energy. So I feel like your life in general um, is really going through a major evolution here. I almost feel like this is where you, you've, you, you've got to understand something here. You've really got it. I feel like you've really got it. And this is where you are going to really see the biggest changes taking place for you. I feel like you really got it here. You're getting it. And because you're getting it, there's a change coming in here. And this is when you're going to see the biggest things happening for you. It's like you don't know right now what's going on, what changes are coming. But conclusions are within reach. And I feel like this is where your life is going to change the most. Finally, sadly, you got it. You're moving through the space and time. It's a journey. But yeah, you are. So let's move this tarot deck out of the way and get into this one first. I'm going to use two tarot this time in your oracle, in your oracle, in your tarot reading. Um, well, it is an oracle deck as well. So, uh, so we can see if there's any matching cards. We've got the Ace of Swords without a doubt. Without a doubt, Sagittarius. So yes, you are moving into a new cycle. Without a doubt. Okay, first light with an ace of swords, yeah. And it's not easy. 
because um, the sword would be an indication for me, especially because it says change your focus above it. I feel like it's tied to you having to control the mind, you know, you having to take that sword and sometimes just prevent yourself, cut it out. Like I'm cutting this out. I'm cutting out the thought that just came to my mind. I'm cutting out, um, you know, this, uh, I have to control what my mind is doing. I have to let it go from my soul. You're taking the sword and removing things from you that are not working. So let's see what else comes up here. The Eight of Cups. There it is, the Eight of Cups walking away. I was just literally talking about this card. I literally told you, um, you have to walk, or the Eight of Cups doesn't mean just to walk away from things externally. It also means to walk away from things internally with inside of you. The thoughts that are not helping you grow, the belief that you have about yourself, um, the memories that you carry from the past that haunt you, um, that needs to be pulled away from as well. In fact, Sometimes we can make a lot of external outside movements to change things, but truly it won't really happen for you unless you start with the internal things first. Okay, and I feel like you are. So let's get in here. We've got the Queen of Pentacles underneath first light. Okay. The Page of Pentacles underneath first light. Thank you so much. That is very good. You are moving your life into stability and an increase in money flow and new ideas as well. What else do we have here? Your Knight of Swords with the Barracuda. Okay, I figured out what that fish is. And then there we go. Your Five of Pentacles. You are going to know how to solve something here. I can see what the conclusion is all about. A lot of money energy coming up in your reading here. Your first light is moving you to your Queen of Pentacles. Because she becomes the Queen of Pentacles, because stability is coming in with the page. It's like there's an, it's a, there's an improvement for you in how you're earning your income or money flow towards you, which leaves you in this really stable, feeling very safe energy of the Queen of Pentacles. Your life feels secure in this new movement. And I see again a sword coming up here conclusions within reach okay this is going to be all about the five of pentacles coming up here why because the five of pentacles is what you're not sure about in the conclusions or within reach because the five of pentacles is something that you can be worrying about even about in the future it can even be it can have nothing to do with what you're remembering with that five of cups, your memories could be about maybe financial problems. Your memories can be about a heartbreak. Your memories can be about a situation that was just unfair towards you and you're carrying it in your soul. But it is going to affect your future as well. Because you're carrying some kind of negative energy, you will also worry about the future. You will also be going, will I be financially stable in the future? I feel like for a lot of you guys, you really more focused on yourself right now you're more focused on how you standing in this world than anything else i feel for a lot of you i'll be honest with you i feel like you've been let down by a lot of people so it is very important for you sagittarius to be very strong and very independent because you almost feel like people are really not there for me and it's almost like I've always got to stand on my own and I haven't been able to do that. So it worries me as I go into the future, will I be able to stand on my own? And this can also be those memories, you know, that's activating the fear of the future of not, not people not supporting you and um, maybe uh, money not being the way it's meant to be. It's going to be fine for you. I can see with the page and the Queen of Pentacles being there. This is where you're going to get your clarity. This is where you're going to get a lot of clarity and you're going to understand something here. You're going to really understand that those thoughts, those memories about all the things that I did or that happened to me in my past is not going to help me moving forward. And your clarity shows up here very, very quickly. I see the clarity and the sword twice. Whenever we're looking at air energy, there's that sword, there's that movement forward because you're, you're working. Even this a wreath that's up here, it almost reminds me of you know, the wreath that the, the Romans used to wear around their head. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. But they used to wear that like with leaves around their head, indicating the mind. That almost like a crown energy, meaning the mind. And it's taking you a lot of control to control the mind. I mean, look at all the bats flying past there. So it's almost like you have to control all those thoughts when they want to come in. And because you are doing this, I feel like there's going to be movement forward very clearly here. And the clarity that you are looking for is that... 
it is this energy because the Knight of Swords is very precise. It's very determined. Um, this is in Barracuda energy. It moves very fast. It's very ruthless as well. I mean, just look at those teeth over there. It's like, whoa, you know what I mean? And, and literally this energy, I feel like that's how you actually are. Not that you, you know, you have those teeth or anything. I'm, I'm just saying. It's just that the basic energy is that you know what you want. You're heading towards it and you can see a way forward. Nothing stops this energy. I think this is one of, most, one of the most feared fish among fish. You know what I mean? Out there when you see this barracuda, they're like, oh, here we go. Here it comes. It's going to come for us. And it's like you, you're heading towards what you want here. Your clarity is going to come from the five of pentacles. That's what's going to be revealed to you. Your future and how stable it's going to be. Let's get more cards out here for you. So we can see more into this energy. Okay, two cards have fallen. I saw a queen of wands as well. I'm going to take her. Let's have a look and see. We have got the ending of things that have been holding you back for a very long time. Sergi. Wow. The Eight of Swords comes up here. The Eight of Swords is what is holding you back. What is preventing you from being able to move forward? What has bound you? What has held you? And some of these things are memories. Because if you look at her, she's not actually bound here. She's actually sitting there looking in the mirror. The mirror is your history, your past, your memories. And in that mirror, you are bound because of the pain of the past that you've experienced. You are going to be walking away from that. You are going to be walking away from it. It's the biggest change in your life. Because when you do that, a sword shows up again in your reading. Justice card comes in. It will cut that Eight of Swords out of your life. It's gonna put, it's gonna break this this major like blockage that you've had maybe for years of your life here, and it's gonna put a complete end to whatever this is for you. And this is where you are moving into your true self here. This is where you are moving into who you are meant to be. Queen of Pentacles, beautiful, with the Queen of Wands right underneath it. The Queen of Wands is you, fire sign. And it's you being truly who you are meant to be. And I feel like it comes out of you. Finally, you can show yourself. Finally, you can be who you want to be because of the aid of pinnacles being there. It is the safety of your life allows you to bloom. It allows you to be who you want to be. Okay, let's see what aligns with the other cards. The nine of wands coming in here. Your two of pinnacles. The Six of Cups, and I want to grab another one because I saw it, the Page of Cups. Beautiful energy. I feel like with the Nine of Wands coming in here, I, I wanted to get an extra card because I wanted a question about this card. It is a Page of Cups here. I do feel, to be honest with you, as you are moving forward into this new cycle here, there is many things going on. First of all, I feel like you, you're even careful now about who you allow into your world. I do feel it already because of the past that you've had. But I also feel like you, you're not going to push everybody out. But it's almost like you're going to be on guard when new people enter your world. It's like they're going to have to prove themselves to you here. They're going to have to prove themselves and show that they're worthy to enter this world that you are busy creating. Because it really means too much to you to bring in anybody that will hurt you. And I feel at the same time when you are doing this, it signals like to the universe, you know, um, this is what I want. This is where I, I, what I will have. And I see it again. I saw it here and I was so curious about how, why, why it was like this. And I can kind of see you being very, very selective as to who you allow into your life. Be it people that you know and who you trust as well. It's not that you are not trusting. I feel like you're trusting more than ever before. I feel like you're trusting yourself. And you're looking at people and you're going, oh, if you're worthy to enter my world, I will weigh you up here. <laughs> you know, I'm going to, to, to get to know you before I really let you into my world. Some people you're going to let go and say no, and some people you will hold to you. And it's because you're being so very careful. I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's intelligent to do that. I think it's a wise thing to do. And you will create, this is interesting coming up as a bit of a people energy coming in here. You're going to create this. So I do see you've got this like financial stability, okay? But it's also like you're going to create your own sort of like, um, not like maybe people, but experiences. It can be people. 
experiences, um, your own reality where you trust everybody that's there, where you feel like you are, it's almost like how it feels. I feel like you're building with the Six of Cups. I know Six of Cups talks about memories. And it's interesting that I started this reading talking about memories. And I feel it's almost like you're only going to take the good memories with you in the Six of Cups. Even because, you know, it says change your focus about the memories. And it's like, yeah, shows up the Six of Cups. It's like you're taking the good memory with you. Because why? When you take the good memory with you, it will recreate good memories in the future for you. And I feel like you're just getting this. You're completely getting this energy. It almost feels to me with the Six of Cups as well, as if you're creating your own little piece of the universe in your world. It's like you're creating your own little universe right here. And you're saying to yourself, you know, I am going to experience what I want to experience in this world, how I want it to be. And you're not going to let anybody in, like with the page of caps coming in here, who doesn't really fit here, who isn't really a good person towards you. Because of all you've experienced in your past year, you've worked way too hard. You've worked way too hard to overcome what other people have tried to break. Um, those people you trusted the most and then they ended up turning against you. You've overcome so much and I don't think you will risk anything to have that happen again. And I don't think it will happen again. You're carrying a lot of swords energy here. Okay, there's the Ace of Swords here. I keep noticing the swords over and over and over again. That even the Justice has a sword. The um, the Knight of Swords has a sword as well. And I think you have learned a lot of lessons. You know how to use that sword. I think you've used it in battle before, Sagittarius. Um, and I think you're going to be very careful. I almost feel like you will always be cautious as you're moving forward. Be it with decisions that you make. You're going to really judge up and say, okay, um... And also, the hip spirit guide was saying perseverance in other areas where sometimes you would want to give up on something. I feel like you're going to have a lot more strength to keep on going longer until you see a change happening. There's a real difference inside of you, a real shift in your energy. It's almost as if, oh, so my spirit guide is saying so much. It's almost as if when you were younger, there was a point here where you were so trusting before the pain happened. And it's like you're going back to that point where you have that open energy, where you feel like you're a pure energy, you know, and you're taking it now into your adulthood here, where you can level yourself up. This is you creating an, another world, <laughs> and you're going to see this coming in. You're going to have these conclusions with regards to your stability. You're going to have conclusions with regards to people in your life and who you're keeping, who you're not keeping, who you will let in. And I just feel like you are building your own reality over here is how it's meant to be can everybody just get this if everybody can understand this there will be no more victims on this planet <laughs> there we go thank you so much Sagittarius do please remember to go watch the other zodiac signs especially when I just publish them. So make sure to turn on that notification bell. So when I, you see me publish, even though it's not Sagittarius, it's Virgo or Libra, and you see that video coming up, just go watch it, please, just for five minutes for me. And just carry on doing that for a little while, just to pick up the algorithm for me. Thank you so much. That will be amazing, because I would really love to be able to keep on doing all 12 zodiac signs because you guys are also not just Sagittarius you also other placements as well and a lot of you go and watch that thank you so much for being here Saggy. I will see you guys in your next reading bye